Hey, what's up guys? Day four of me here in Seoul, South Korea. As you know, I uh, picked up the flu, which is why I'm wearing my mask and had some samgatang. And uh, you would have seen on the news probably about three days ago now, which is when uh, Jong Hyun from China passed away and really had a heavy heart seeing that announcement. And I've actually made my way all the way, just walking to Asan Medical Center. Since I'm in Seoul, I thought it'd be the best time for me to be able to actually visit and pay my respects to him uh, before he has his burial. Untimely, but it's the least thing that I could do. I'm not going to be able to record inside and it's only the right thing to do. But I just wanted to uh, share this moment of going there, something very tragic, and I hope all of you share and I'll take all the praise with me. Just came back from Jonghyun Chinese Memorial that they open up to the public. Uh, it's snowing right now, as you can see. Um, and yeah, it was very tough, I think, even for myself, but many fans around. Really nice to see a lot of people paying homage to such a great guy who did a lot for the music industry, but also such a great person and the tragedy of how he passed away. Um, but the amount of heart outpour and love that was shown today and the last few days um, from everyone around the world and visiting him uh, has been really heartfelt and I'm sure we'll, he'll feel it all the way up into the heavens. Um, I didn't want to take any videos because it's a very sensitive part and privacy and it's the right thing to do. Uh, so I just wanted to share my thoughts on uh, how it went. Again, there's a lot of people uh, going to the West Building side of Asan Medical Center. Um, everyone's queued up, waiting patiently, very somber mood, quiet. You can see the patient board and you see uh, Jung Hyun's face there. A really nice uh, smiling uh, face, so still sending positive vibes and remembering him for when he was so happy. And then heading down below ground to where a lot of the memorials were being held for everyone else. Um, and he was in room number three. Uh, organized very well of people wanting to see him. Uh, they did a tremendous job of it. So really well done to Asan Medical Center. And um, yeah, you know, we had a few moments of finally our turn, being able to see the flowers and a picture frame of him and you know a lot of people mourning inside the room only for a short period of time before we had to move on um, but I think it was really nice that they actually opened up to the public because he was the face of K-pop and he touched a lot of people around the world a lot of people were handing some gifts such as the flowers and even though I didn't actually have any card or flowers on the way I was able to give my uh, yellow keep being awesome one tick traveler wristband and you know it's crazy here I haven't been able to see them before, but I always wanted to see them one day when they come visit the UK. But now I'm finally here in Seoul, and it wasn't the way that I wanted to see him in my first and last time. And I think during this darkest time, for anyone who's severely affected by it, or anything personally going on in their lives, or someone that they know that has mental health concerns, please do reach out to them. It's still such a taboo here in Southeast Asia, and a growing concern in the West, and I think it shouldn't be overlooked especially with the intense industry uh, like we've seen from the tragedy uh, a few days ago. So I'm going to head on back home. Thanks for joining me. I write all about my experience on OneTechTraveler.com and share a few photos that I was able to take beforehand and visit him. So yeah, lots of love from myself and everyone around the world. Rest in peace, Jungian.